This is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 46. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find the fenced user ID of an instance. This slide talks about the problem and the solution. The problem scenario is we want to find the fenced user ID of an instance. The fenced user ID is usually provided during the instance creation and uh, the DB2 or application may not use the fenced uh, functionalities, fenced user features or functionalities. Uh, so over a period of time, like you know, after in, uh, creating the instance and working with the databases, so mostly we work with databases and we never touch the instance. So we tend to forget the fenced user ID over a period of time. So the solution for that is very simple. So you can use the um, uh, uh, the ps command itself to get the uh, fenced user ID. The user ID which is running the DB2 FMP process, right? So that that is the fenced user ID for that instance. So you can use the ps command ps hyphen eaf pipe grep hyphen i db2 fmp uh, if you but the disadvantage with this approach is like the fmp process should be running right so uh, if you're not using the functionality the process might not run in the uh, background so uh, so what you can do is you can just look at the uh, file dot fenced id there is a file dot fenced id under db2 home uh, which is like your home uh, instance home directory sqllib slash ctrl folder slash dot fenced id that is the file so that file you can just open that file it will show you the fenced id okay so let us uh, uh, give a quick demo of the functionality that we have de described here so here i have inst1 instance 1 i am in instance 1 okay uh, so i can the, the simplest thing is you can just view the content of the file right so this is the simplest thing to do so i'll just uh, run uh, the, both the commands so you can see that uh, home db2 inst1 sqllib ctrl folder dot fenced id so if i just open that file i find the username db2 fence one so for inst1 instance db2 fence one is the fenced user id for inst2 instance db2 fence two is the user id so this is the most simple way i did not even i don't have my instance uh, restart or anything is required okay so the another uh, method is to uh, use this command right so let me start the instance and run the uh, command that I have just uh, showed you. So I am starting the instance inst1, okay. So after that I am just executing the ps command as uh, we discussed. It is taking a bit of time, okay. So so you can see that, see the db2 cc process is running under db2 inst1 which means the instance one is up but the fmp process is not running right so that's what is the limitation so it can be easily fairly uh, done so db2 update dbm cfg using num init fenced one so this will create a background uh, process then you just stop and restart the instance okay that's it so it's a very simple uh, thing that you can do uh, okay so now just it's stopping the instance and i am again starting the instance Again, I can execute the same uh, ps hyphen ef grep. So here you can see now the FMP process is running, okay? And you can see the fence one is the user ID. And you can see for db2 sysc, db2 inst1, uh, the parent ID is the same, right? See, because you need to, if there are multiple instances, right? Then you need to associate for which instance, which fenced user, right? So that you can do using this one. So let me just give you an example of that as well. So I'll, uh, what I'll do is I'll, uh, start the instance 2 as well okay copy this okay okay so i'm uh, updating the init fenced one so that the fmp process will be running so i have started the uh, this thing as well uh, instance 2 as well so i'll run the ps command now okay you can see that here see now there are two db2 cc process running one is inst1 and for that fmp process is db2 fence one there is another db2 cc process running that is db2 inst2 for that the uh, fence2 is the fence2 is ready so how do i map that so for the parent process id is the mapping see here the 6310 6310 is the same so which means these two processes are this uh, from the same parent similarly for inst1 the parent id is 6266 fence1 the parent id is 6266 so with this association i can say for this instance for this uh, uh, fenced user so I can easily map that way uh, I hope that information was useful to you uh, see you in the next video tutorial thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel db2 lew academy thanks bye bye